Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're hopping on a plane, grabbing our passports, and taking a virtual trip to the beautiful country of Spain. We're going to uncover some super interesting facts about Spain that'll make you say ole. So grab your sangria and let's get started. Okay, first up we're talking food, because why not? Food is the universal language of love, and what better way to explore history than through our taste buds? Spain is home to the world's oldest restaurant. Yes, you heard that right. Nestled in the heart of Madrid, Restaurante Botin has been serving up delicious meals since 1725. Imagine walking through those doors and stepping back in time. Restaurante Botin isn't just a place to eat, it's a living museum of culinary art. Since its inception, it has been a cornerstone of Spanish culture and cuisine. That's almost 300 years of culinary history, folks. Three centuries of perfecting recipes, serving generations of families, and witnessing the evolution of Madrid itself. Can you imagine the stories those walls could tell? From the whispers of secret meetings to the laughter of countless celebrations, each brick and beam holds a piece of history. I bet Ernest Hemingway himself pulled up a chair at that place. In fact, he did. Hemingway was a frequent visitor and even mentioned Boten in his novel, The Sun Also Rises. They say their suckling pig is legendary, roasted in a wood-fired oven that's probably older than all of us. This dish has been a staple on their menu for centuries, and it's cooked to perfection every single time. So if you're ever in Madrid and feeling hungry for history, you know where to go, but it's not just about the food, it's about the experience. Dining at Botan is like taking a bite out of history. The ambiance, the service, and the flavors all come together to create an unforgettable experience. The chefs at Botin are not just cooks, they are custodians of a rich culinary heritage. Each dish is prepared with the same care and attention to detail that has been passed down through generations. And let's not forget about the wine. Botin boasts an impressive wine cellar stocked with some of the finest Spanish wines, a perfect pairing for their exquisite dishes. And if you have a sweet tooth, their desserts are to die for. Traditional Spanish sweets that will leave you craving for more. Whether you're dining with family, friends, or even solo, Botan offers a warm and welcoming atmosphere that makes you feel right at home. So next time you're in Madrid, make sure to visit Restaurante Botan. It's not just a meal, it's a journey through time, a celebration of Spanish culture, and a feast for the senses. And who knows, you might even get a chance to meet the chefs and hear their stories firsthand. After all, at Botan, every meal is a story waiting to be told. Next up, we're diving into the world of architecture, and when it comes to Spain, one structure stands out above the rest, the Sagrada Familia. This iconic basilica in Barcelona has been under construction for over 130 years, and believe it or not, it's still not finished. I mean, talk about dedication. The sheer commitment of the workers and architects over the decades is nothing short of inspiring. Gaudi's masterpiece is a sight to behold, with its towering spires and intricate details that captivate the imagination. Antoni Gaudi, the genius behind this marvel, envisioned a structure that would transcend time and become a symbol of Barcelona. Inside, the basilica is just as breathtaking, with columns that resemble trees and stained glass windows that bathe the interior in a kaleidoscope of colors. It's no wonder that millions of tourists flock here every year to witness this ongoing masterpiece. They say it's expected to be completed by 2026, so mark your calendars, people. Imagine the grand unveiling, the celebrations, and the sense of accomplishment when this architectural wonder is finally complete. The workers, who have poured their hearts and souls into this project, will see their efforts come to fruition. Over the years, the Sagrada Familia has witnessed history, survived wars, and adapted to changing times, yet its essence remains unchanged. The detailed carvings and sculptures tell stories from the Bible, each one meticulously crafted to perfection. From an aerial view, the basilica looks like a giant, intricate puzzle, each piece fitting together to create a harmonious whole. At sunset, the Sagrada Familia takes on a magical glow, its spires reaching towards the heavens, a testament to human creativity and perseverance. I can't wait to see it finished, but hey, part of me is going to miss saying, yeah, they're still working on that thing. It's a reminder that some dreams take time and the journey can be just as beautiful as the destination. 
So as we watch the Sagrada Familia inch closer to completion, let's appreciate the artistry, the history, and the unwavering dedication that has brought it this far. And who knows, maybe in 2026, we'll all be standing here marveling at the finished masterpiece and saying it was worth the wait. Until then, the Sagrada Familia remains a never-ending story, a work in progress that continues to inspire and awe. So next time you're in Barcelona, make sure to visit this incredible basilica and witness history in the making. Every visit offers something new, a fresh perspective on this timeless piece of art. Whether you're an architecture enthusiast or just a curious traveler, the Sagrada Familia is a must-see, a testament to human ingenuity and the power of dreams. All right, let's talk olive oil, shall we? Because Spain is the olive oil king. They produce over half of the world's supply. That's a whole lot of olives. I'm talking fields and fields of olive trees stretching as far as the eye can see. Next time you're dipping some crusty bread into that liquid gold, think of sunny Spain. They take their olive oil seriously over there, and you know what? I respect that. Chapter 4. Double the language, double the fun. Now let's get into some language lessons. Did you know that the Spanish language has two official names? It's true. They call it both Espanol and Castellano. It's like having a nickname for your language. I kind of want to invent a second name for English now. Maybe United Statesian? No, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Anyway, next time you're practicing your Spanish, you can impress your friends with your knowledge of the double names. Chapter 5. A history buff's dream. Hold on to your hats, history buffs, because Spain is about to blow your mind. This country is a veritable playground for anyone with a passion for the past. It has the second highest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the world. That's right, Spain boasts an incredible 48 sites that have been recognized for their cultural, historical, and architectural significance. Each one of these 48 sites tells a unique story, offering a glimpse into different eras and civilizations that have shaped the country. From the prehistoric cave paintings at Altamira to the medieval splendor of the Alhambra, there's something for everyone. Imagine walking through ancient Roman ruins, feeling the echoes of a once mighty empire beneath your feet, or perhaps you'd prefer to wander through the stunning Moorish palaces with their intricate tile work and lush gardens that transport you back to a time of sultans and emirs. You could spend a lifetime exploring all the amazing sights and still not see everything. Each visit reveals new layers of history and culture, making every trip a unique adventure. Don't forget the medieval castles that dot the landscape, standing as silent sentinels of a bygone era, and the Gothic cathedrals with their soaring spires and intricate stained glass windows are a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of their builders. Spain also offers a plethora of historical reenactments and cultural festivals that bring history to life. Imagine witnessing a medieval joust or participating in a traditional festival that has been celebrated for centuries. And let's not forget the museums, which house countless artifacts and exhibits that provide deeper insights into Spain's rich history. From the Prado Museum in Madrid to the Guggenheim in Bilbao, there's no shortage of places to immerse yourself in the past. Time to update that travel bucket list, folks. Whether you're a seasoned historian or just someone who loves a good story, Spain is a destination that promises to captivate and inspire. So pack your bags and get ready for an unforgettable journey through time. Chapter 6. The Quiet Anthem. Okay, get this. The Spanish National Anthem has no lyrics. Yep, you heard me right. It's one of the few national anthems in the world that's purely instrumental. Can you imagine that? No words to sing along to, just pure, majestic music. It's kind of cool, actually. They let the music do the talking, and it speaks volumes about Spain's rich history and culture. All right, time for a little geography lesson. Did you know that Spain is the only European country with cities on African soil? It's true. Ceuta and Melilla are Spanish cities located on the northern coast of Africa. Talk about a unique geographical situation. It's like having a foot in two continents at the same time. Spain, you're full of surprises. Now let's talk about Spanish culture because these guys know how to live life to the fullest. One thing you'll notice is that they eat their meals later than we do. Dinner at 10 p.m., 
totally normal in Spain. They like to savor their meals, enjoy good company, and stay up late. I can get behind that. Just make sure to have a snack handy if you're visiting because those late night dinners can be a while. Calling all beach lovers, Spain is your paradise. With over 5,000 miles of coastline, there's no shortage of beautiful beaches to explore. From the sunny shores of the Mediterranean to the rugged coast of the Atlantic, Spain has a beach for every taste. Whether you want to soak up the sun, go for a swim, or try your hand at some water sports, you'll find it all in Spain. Just don't forget your sunscreen. Last but not least, let's talk about festivals. Spain knows how to throw a party. From La Tomatina, where people throw tomatoes at each other, sounds messy but fun, to the running of the bulls in Pamplona, definitely not for the faint of heart, Spain has a festival for every month of the year. These festivals are a celebration of Spanish culture and they're a chance to let loose and have some fun. Just be ready for some wild and unforgettable experiences. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed learning these fun facts about Spain as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below telling me which fact surprised you the most and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. See you in the next video.